Hello and welcome back to Tale of Two Wastelands. Wow, it's been a while since that happened. Uh, I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And uh, they got Garza. Tale of E. Um, are we ready to move on now? I guess she got the door open, so yes. Uh, President John Henry Eden. I'm unarmed, don't you? Is on the. Don't shoot. Out of here. I bought radio. I'm unarmed. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed, don't Not shoot. a good idea. Talking about uh, purifying water. So he seems to have worked out what was going on around here, uh, and he seems to be. Claiming that capability I'm, I'm for his own. Shoot. You guys are a real problem, and I wish you had been more willing to hang back. Maybe the drippies are not uh, an indicator of my path forward. Can I make anything worthwhile? See, look at that. Bent tin can equals tin can. But why do I care? Alright, I'm not super interested in any of those things. So I should stop getting irradiated. Gimme and gimme. Why not? Where is the radio? You shut up, dude. Not a good idea. Well, maybe go your own way then. See how that works out for you. Why is there a shit dropping in from this from up above over there? checked recently if I picked up any stuff I can make repairs with. Now I ought to be able to make some repairs. Still no plasma pistol repairs. And still no... Damn. These guys are carrying too many diverse weapons. Not sure if I'm hearing power armors or what. Damn. All right. Off to a good start. I could I should see if I could lob a grenade up there. All right, well that's not too far back. Yeah. And no. Oh, missed that last time. Okay. And 
and whiskey. Now how about a little quick save? So I don't have to do all that again. Now you know what? Where's all my buddies? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Hey, friends. Come on, guys. You're supposed to be staying close. Good. What is it? Stay put. Are you sure? I don't. Do you want to stay in one piece? Cause. Um. Where are my grenados? Grenade rifle? Oh, I've got mini nukes. That fat man's in pretty rough shape, but. You know, I think we'll just go boring old frag grenade. Got the timing pretty good there. May have a contact here. Well, that was not so great. <laughs> target may be in range. Yes, target is in range. <laughs> so these are a little too close, huh? They don't seem to be reacting as much anymore, do they? Yeah, I'm really just chipping away at him, huh? Still no go on targets. And where are you guys, huh? They're up there somewheres. Oh, you're over there. Yeah, you're in real rough shape by now, dude. So it appears that the timers on the grenades are slightly unreliable. I should probably... Man, I've gobbled up some stim packs. Okay. That may have been it. Look at all that blood on the wall. How do you like that for parkour? Yeah, give me all your goodies. You thought you could just stand up here and shoot at me and my friends while we tried to run past? No such luck. Me and my 25 grenades said otherwise. Alright, let's see. The multiplaz is still in decent shape, so we'll stick with that for now. Alright, Madison, let's go.
Where the hell did my friends go? What is it? What are you idiots doing back here? What do you think you're doing? Man, these guys are way too testy. They should be considerably more grateful. Considering that I turned most of my body into hamburger just a minute ago for them. <laughs> Missiles? I bought helmet? Madison, I think they probably would have heard you the first time if they were going to hear you at all. Hmm. Don't look at the butt. It's not polite. She's dead. I don't know why that suddenly matters. What do we got here? This is an extensive facility. Were you guys aware of all this? Were you using it for stuff? I have unarmed, don't shoot. Come on. I need you to be fairly close before this works. And boy does it work. I'm definitely glad I started putting some points in the energy weapons. Oh, there's an exit, huh? I'm unarmed, don't shoot. And I'm unarmed, this don't shoot. These ungrateful unarmed, assholes. Come on. Bottle. Bottle. And now more ghouls, apparently. Velar, more ghouls ish. What do you know? I mean, who cares, really? But. I felt like there was something back there. Oh good, a door with a bunch of skeletons in front of it. That's what we want to see. Hey, hey. I know what to do with that. Yes. And now I want to see what's over here. Oh, it's locked hard. These poor people not know how to push button. Hi, guys. Hey, friends. The area was not secured. Night. I remember reading some weird fan theory about the uh, Brotherhood of Steel in the Fallout show. I 
don't remember it exactly, so I can't offer it a very sound criticism. But I, I do remember considering it and deciding that it probably wasn't a thing. Can I? I cannot. Okay. Maybe if I'm... No. Alright, fine. You hang out down here and I use up all of your flamer fuel. I think it was that they, uh... That's probably what it was. It's the... People noticed the, um... Rather pretentious names of the knights. Sort of Latin-ish. Um, and wondered if the Brotherhood had joined forces with Caesar's Legion. And, uh, I just find that unlikely. Especially since there was no Caesar symbology present. I believe I can handle things from here. Okay. Uh, fuck off then. And what are you two doing? I guess you're gonna follow her. And this is the Citadel. I gotta say, guys, the this bracing the walls from the outside thing doesn't strike me as a great idea. Hey, name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? I have to go now. Of course. Yes. I'll let you talk to the lady. In the I meantime. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the city. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! Well, what do you think about that, Paladin? This is actually, in terms of a gateway, this is brilliant. Be so effective for assaulting anybody who breached that gate. It looks a little undermanned, though. I may have mentioned before that I think the Brotherhood of Steel in the in DC has a bit of a weird mission as far as BOS goes. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Edison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's daughter, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. She knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help her. Very well. We'll sort this all out. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. So be careful what you tell them. Yeah, so the thing about the Brotherhood of Fallout 1 and 2 is that they were basically remnants of the U.S. military who had concluded that the old world's technology was too dangerous to allow it to fall into the hands of the tribals 
or really of anyone else, and so they go around collecting it, generally by force. And uh, you can see their methods can be a little rough. Um, for whatever reason, Elder Lyons has set up shop in the DC wasteland, and he is considerably more amenable to helping the locals uh, than your standard Brotherhood of Steel. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think the local outcasts um, are more traditional Brotherhood of Steel alignment. But I don't know that I've really ever spent much time with them. And this, this is very interesting. Now, is this, is this the Pentagon? Is that, is that what this is supposed to be? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the Pentagon. Okay. So one would think that this would be like the bastion of the traditional Brotherhood of Steel. So maybe, I mean, you could argue, right, that these are the true Brotherhood of Steel and that the guys on the West Coast uh, have been separated from command for too long and lost their way. And that's why they're misbehaving. It sort of depends on your view of the canonicity. Alright, I will refrain from stealing the stuff. Oh, there it is. And is it directly below? It probably is. It's Liberty Prime. Hail. Hail? I should probably make friends with these guys before I get too nosy. Liberty Prime Operations. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment? I need to find a Gek. Really? A pity. You won't find one here. It may be possible to locate one, however. How to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Now, I think somebody around here... Ooh, I can open the armory door, huh? Plasma rifle. Hey, Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. I have to say... I'm not sure what you're doing in my armory. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, we don't trade with outsiders. Quartermaster out. All right. We'll get that sorted out later. Uh, vault Tech Computing. A ring. How many rings do you think they have? Is there going to be an O ring around here somewhere? I don't think there are vault tech computers in there. How about this one? Nope. That door doesn't even go anywhere. And uh, neither does this room. I need to go back upstairs. You honor us with your presence here. Wow. More uppies.
I'm really glad they decided to change the power armor to the Fallout 4 slash uh, TV show style. Um, I really like how much more imposing they got. Oh, it's the war room. As we all know, there's no fighting in the war room. Sentinel Lions? You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. I found a holotag. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. All right, then. Glad to be of help. What's your take on the Enclave? I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if my father permits it. Care to share anything about the super mutants? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... I have to go now. In my father's name, <clears throat> I bid you farewell. I wonder, is there a somewhere they're coming from in the capital wasteland? You honor us with your presence here. They're so friendly. Maybe I should have asked her where that other scribe is. Jameson? B ring? Do I want to go to B ring? What is it? What's your no, I'm in A ring. Maxon Archive. Elder Maxon. DC area vault listings. <clears throat> vault 76. Vault 76 started in 2065, completed in 2069, 500 occupants, 240 months, 20 years. Brain power 4, central control system, primary power supply, light life geothermal, secondary power supply, general atomics nuclear, non standard equipment, none. I really. Got to stop doing that. 87. Oh, no. All right, well, that's fine. 26. D6. Oh, I found one. Okay. Cyber Rain 2.3. Non-standard equipment. Four stasis chamber. Three plasma containment field. One GEC. Six food processing station. Wait, I want to see Null. Okay. I want to review the rest of these things. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to the plan dictated in the marketing material produced by Vault Tech and precisely to resident expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years, and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Ninety-two sound equipment, musical instruments. Whole lot of restricted information in there, huh? Ninety-five subjects, twelve researchers. Six, Dr. Albert Laris. This information has been redacted at the request of Dr. Albert Laris of the Psychological Research Department and Chief Overseer of Vault 106 Project. All inquiries into the goals and research methods of 106 are to be directed through his office. Same story.
main supply designed to fail after 20 years. Secondary power supply steam whistle with mini geothermal. Note from admin, we are aware that steam whistle is only sufficient to power this project partially. Please do not file any further reports on this issue. Non-standard equipment, defensive weaponry, triple normal issue. Note, do not stock with standard entertainment. All standard positions have been intentionally left unfilled and will be assigned by the overseer according to the Vault 108 protocols. According to the pre-assignment medical test, Mr. Jones has a genetic disposition for a rare terminal strain of cancer, which should ideally cause him to expire within 40 months of the project's inception. <clears throat> These two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to continue as planned. Nope. Man. So much missing information. I already looked at that one. <clears throat> 85 occupants in Vault 112. 12 147C robots, ter caretaker va variation, 85 stasis pods. List of liquid nutrients detailed in memo. Overseer Stanislaus Braun. Research note to the nature of the project in 112. Highly automated systems designed to support at the vault requires only a single administrator. Okay. Well, with that, we're all out of time. So come back and see me again tomorrow, and we will go talk to somebody about Vault 87. Talk to you soon. What aid can I offer you outside?